We won't focus on your bald spot in the back. Very nice. Are we active? We're active. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Got to cover the bald spots up front too. <laughs> So, uh, just a quick video to keep you guys thinking about this game we play called the Aquarium Hobby. And, uh, you know, just again, observations that I make over the years. Um, so why do you like this hobby? And I've sort of broken this down into three different areas. You're either the explorer. You're that person who wants to try something new that uh, just gets excited by the by the thought of doing something you're unsure of, um, tinkering into new ideas and new ways, and that keeps you intrigued. Maybe it's, maybe in a freshwater tank, it's going into the live plants because you uh, have always done the uh, plastic and you've always heard that live was hard, but the just the thought of exploring a whole different avenue and make, taking that time and that investment and figuring things out kind of turns you on, kind of makes you want to do this hobby. Maybe in the saltwater side, it's a refugium or a calcium reactor or this piece of gear, you want to build a, uh, an algae turf scrubber, whatever. It's, it's exploring all the different ways you can do something, keeps you invested. Then I got the person that likes the journey itself. It's, it's little to do with this. They don't really, they really don't want to know a lot. They just want to have a tank up and running and successful. Um, they really enjoy the process. They enjoy coming to their local fish store. Hopefully it's just fish. They enjoy hanging around the people. They enjoy being here when the new stuff comes in. They enjoy the shopping, the getting something, the excitement of what's coming in and being one of the first ones to be here and finding something unusual, that little nugget that someone else missed maybe and that something special and want to add that to their tank and have this this thing that they can treasure. And it's that weekly experience or bi-monthly experience that really keeps them going. It's what they enjoy, right? And then last but not least, I've got the watchers. So the watchers are the people that, you know, again, this wasn't as important. They're a little bit of an explorer because they tried the hobby. They're a little bit of the, the journeyer because they actually came shopping regularly, but ultimately their end goal is they just want to watch a beautiful scene. Um, not too into getting uh, off on this new horizon format on whatever build it's going to be. It's about at the end of the day, sitting back uh, in the evenings and having a nice cold adult beverage or glass of wine, kick back enjoying showing other people, having their friends come over. Everybody's really liking it. Uh, in the mornings, you know, you get up, you get a nice cup of coffee going, and you sit down and you take a sip of coffee and you feed your fish and you just enjoy watching what you've created. So now, you can see I've got this arrow right here. Um, the most likely to quit person is the person. So anyway, um, we had, a, we had an interruption in the video, so I'm having to splice this together. So you may hear a little overlap, but basically I was just saying, most likely to quit is the person that just likes the journey, right? Because at some point, coming in and buying things comes to an end because your tank is full. So it's like the journey's done. Um, damn, now I, I gotta take care of it, right? And that was, you, you weren't the explorer and you weren't the watcher. So it's not as intriguing to take care of this tank, right? So my goal is to turn the people who like the journey into either becoming explorers or watchers. Now, that's why I have these two errors. So I got to get them. I got to get you, those who are watching that might fall into this category. We got to get you invested in taking care of the tank, enjoying it, uh, letting your friends appreciate what you've done or turn you back into an explorer where you now might consider buying a bigger aquarium, right? That's a lot of times the people that the journey ends on tank number one end up with tank number two and tank number three. The danger there and the reason that, you know, it sounds odd that someone who's in the business of selling aquariums is always concerned about that is because that can lead to this, right? I don't want, like, I don't like to see, I'd rather have someone have one aquarium, 
and stick with being a watcher or every now and then do something different with their tank, explore different aquascaping, different filtration, different lighting, you know, going one of these two routes. Splicing in number three. All right, damn it. Um, then what we got is a situation where the, 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 the journey person keeps going back to buy another tank to explore a new system. And before you know it, oh, she's at the door. Before you know it, um, you've got burnout. We don't want burnout. We don't want that. That's no good. That's no good for just fish, and it's no good for you because then you have just wasted a whole bunch of that, right? We don't want you to waste money. We want you to enjoy your money. We want you to be a watcher. We want you to be an explorer. We want you to enjoy the journey, but we want you to move on from that point and continue with the hobby. So those are just my thoughts for the day. Miss Ma brought me a lovely cup of coffee. That's who kept on smoking this video so we couldn't finish it, but it's worth it. She's forgiven. I didn't know who it was. <laughs>